Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Friday of the fifth week of Easter, May 12th, 2023. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we always begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Remember me, Lord God, when you come into your kingdom. Alleluia. Our first psalm is Psalm 51, entitled, O God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. For my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Remember me, Lord God, when you come into your kingdom. Alleluia. Truly you are a hidden God, the God of Israel, the Savior. Alleluia. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah and titled, People of all nations will become disciples of the Lord. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare and counsel together, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no... <coughs> Excuse me. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Truly you are a savior, excuse me, truly you are a hidden God, the God of Israel, the savior, alleluia. Serve the Lord with gladness, alleluia. Our second Psalm is Psalm 100 entitled, The Joyful Song of Those Entering God's Temple. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With joy and gladness we cry out to you, Lord, and ask you, open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Alleluia. Our reading this morning is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. The God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom you put to death, hanging him on a tree. He whom God has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those that obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed, blessed among us today is Unita Zelma Blackwell, a freedom fighter who was born in 1933 and died in 2019. Unita Zelma Blackwell was born on a plantation in Lula, Mississippi, where her parents picked cotton. The same life awaited her. There were few other options for a black child in the Delta. At 14, she quit school to work in the fields. Life was just a matter of surviving, yet something made her think there was more, a conviction that something is wrong with this world we live in. In 1957, following the birth of her son, she fell into a coma. As she hovered on the side of death, she felt God speak to her. You shall not die. You has work to do. She recovered and set out on a process of looking for her deepest purpose. The turning point came in 1964 when organizers from the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee came to her town and talked about registering to vote. She responded to the call, crossing a line of armed white men at the courthouse. She lost her job, but she had crossed to the other side. Overnight, I went from the field hand to full-time freedom fighter. Blackwell became an organizer for SNCC, participating in countless marches and demonstrations. She was arrested over 70 times and was one time held for 11 days with 1,100 demonstrators in a livestock pen, sleeping on the concrete floor, subjected to abusive strip searches. I don't think most people today have any idea of the price that ordinary black Mississippians have paid, she said. In 1976, she was elected mayor of her own town, Mayersville, becoming the first African-American woman mayor in Mississippi. She died on May 13, 2019. This is a quote from United Selma Blackwell. I was fearful. I was scared, but I kept going anyway. I say, well, Lord, if I die, I'm going to die trying. I'm going to die fighting for freedom. Our responsory, the Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Our canticle of Zechariah. My commandment is this, love one another as I have loved you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My commandment is this, love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia. Our intercessions. Let us pray to God the Father who gave us new life through the risen Christ. Give us the glory of your Son. Lord our God, your, your mighty works have revealed your eternal plan. You created the earth and you are faithful in every generation. Hear us, Father of mercy. Give us the glory of your Son. Purify our hearts with your truth and guide them in the way of holiness so that we may do what is pleasing in your sight. Give us the glory of your Son. Let your face shine upon us that we may be freed from sin and filled with your plenty. Give us the glory of your Son. You gave the apostles the peace of Christ. Grant peace to your people and to the whole world. Give us the glory of your Son. God, our rock and refuge, you are the source of our hope. Give us the glory of your Son. Heal the wounds of those who have experienced bullying, slander, or verbal abuse. Give us the glory of your Son. Give gladness to graduates and guide them in their life traditions. Give us the glory of your Son. Help us to show appreciation and love to our friends and expand our circle of inclusion. Give us the glory of your Son. Unite efforts to end the war in Ukraine and other places that experience oppression. Give us the glory of your Son. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff. For Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish or to the center but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may be either ill or passed away, and Father, for Father Don Ward that he heal and return to our parish soon. Give us the glory of your Son. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father and to our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, by this Easter mystery, prepare us for eternal life. May our celebration of Christ's death and resurrection guide us to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed weekend. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.